Today's video is sponsored by Boxu. More on them later on. Hey Greens, we are back with another fidget toy mystery bag from the viral TikToker Mrs. Bench. Mrs. Bench has been sending us everything from weird fidget toys, unique fidget toys, and yes, they've all been fidget toy mystery boxes. Some I've tested alone and others I've tested with my sister, such as the banana. <laughs> So I'm really excited what's going to be in this gigantic bag. It's quite heavy, quite heavy. However, being in Canada, despite the fact that Mrs. Bench sent this to me as a gift, they decided to charge me $40 as a customs fee. Thank you, Canada. I much appreciate it. Thank you for you. I get Merry Christmas, Canada, from me to you. If you like fidget toys, don't forget to subscribe, we do all sorts of fidget toy reviews. I had no idea when I started this journey that there would be so many different kinds, and now I am a fidget toy connoisseur. Mm-hmm, oh, hang on. Oh, oh, yes, and a cup of tea with a fidget toy inside, mm, yes, and a mustache, or oh, a monocle, yes, I'm quite the connoisseur. And let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite type of fidget toy? I am a little biased towards slightly obnoxious but portable things, like the infinity cube, or the fidget cube, or that spinny ring wheel gear thing. Alright, so let's see what we get. I have no idea. Mrs. Bench really does surprise me. By the way, congratulations to Mrs. Bench for being on a billboard in Times Square, New York. Holy shrimp, so proud of you. And by the way, the fidget toy community is so wholesome. Y'all just took me into your arms. I see you, Dr. Squish. Thank you so much. I'm gonna shout out my fidget toy friends now in the description box below. So check out my fidget toy friends down below. And yes, Mrs. Bench does have a shop called Fidget Toy Plus. Not sponsor, not affiliated. So let's see what we got. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's find the paper. Is this the paper? I think this is a paper. Okay, let's do a count. Oh, that's cute. This is a sticker. Let's see how many toys we got in here. Okay, we have 22 fidget toys, which means that we are going to divide this into two videos. Mrs. Bench, thank you very much. And I did see a poppet here. I think Mrs. Bench is trying to make sure that we get a poppet that we want. Because some previous ones, the balls didn't work out for us. The, the, the fidget poppet balls. <sighs> Don't take me out of context. Y'all do that. I see you. I see you tagging me in timestamps in the comment section. I'll see you. I'll watch you. So we might as well start with the Poppet Dice. Oh my god. I love this so much. And did you know, fun fact time with Jackie, that the sides of a dice, the opposite sides, are equal to seven. So three, which means the opposite should be a four. Let's turn it around. Four. One, the opposite should be a six. Six. Now you know. Oh, hang on. Let's roll. If I roll under a three, I will put my, no, hang on. Yeah, three and under, I will put uh, my lip balm in my nose. <laughs> oh, I didn't touch it, I didn't touch it. It's a four, I don't have to do it. Now the question is that I actually roll multiple times and then the editing didn't work. The answer is no, I'm very honest. Putting things in my nose would not be the first time. <laughs> All right, with, let's stop. I got this, I got this. Honestly, this is a really cute looking fidget toy and I messed it up already. Okay, Jackie, good job. So let's see if it does its job as a pop. Good, let's do the three. Oh, let's do the six. Okay, ready? Oh my God, I'm in love. Not only are you a fidget I can turn, you are also a fidget I can pop. I got goosebumps. Oh my god. For real? This is one of my favorites. Let's put all of them in and let's do the pop again. Oh, the last one didn't pop. Well, this one doesn't make nice. <laughs> it's a silent fidget. And you can see that there is reinforcement around the seams over here, which is a good thing because if these seams were leaking any kind of air, we would have gotten no poppies. So that's good for us. This is fun. Okay, there we go. So make sure if yours is not doing this properly or just caving in, then you have to make sure that the seals, basically these parts here, are actually closed off properly. So that's super important. Next, oh, it's a box. We have 
What is that? Crazy cube. Oh, that's an infinity cube. Okay. I love infinity cubes. For those of you who may have missed out, I had my own fidget toy kit where we had an infinity cube galaxy and a fidget cube also galaxy themed, which Dr. Squish also reviewed. Again, I'm gonna leave the links down below. What makes you different, crazy cube? Oh, wow, that is heavy. That is really heavy. Okay, since it is white, we're gonna put my felt down. That is heavy. I don't think I've ever seen one this heavy before. And you can tell that all these pieces, wow, that is heavy. It has a nice weight to it. It almost has like this anti-anxiety feel to it. I don't know how to explain this, but I love infinity cubes because they just go on and on and on and on as you can see me play with. And listen, the sound also sounds nice. Right? But this is really nice. Hang on, did I rate this? I'm gonna give this a nine on 10 because some, some of them are silent, so I'm not sure why. Oh, there's, it makes sound now. Okay, never mind. 10 on 10 for me for this one. <laughs> And this infinity cube, it is pretty plain in terms of the color, but it means that it is discreet and it is pretty good for your office or your classroom if you want to bring it in to college or wherever. It doesn't really stand out, so I kind of like that. And I don't mean plain in a bad way. This is good. I really love these. And the weight of it, oh. 10 on 10 for me. We're off to a really good start. Oh, by the way, if I do give a low rating, which I have in these mystery boxes, just know that it has nothing to do with me not appreciating what Mrs. Bench sent, and it's just a personal preference. I do appreciate everything. And then, oh, that's another cardboard. What are you? <gasps> what is that? Mythical moon. Why did my brain... Read mythical moan. They like moaning, Myrtle. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> mythical moon, not mythical moaning Myrtle, okay? Stretchy, squishy, jelly star. And I actually picked up the package from here, and it is pretty squishy. It comes in four different colors. It's a little odd. The packaging shows a, well, it says mythical moon, and then we see a fairy with mushrooms and flowers, but we get a starfish? What? And, oh, the back doesn't actually show us the diff four different colors. Okay, it's four different colors of the starfish, but it doesn't seem like it comes in four different shapes, just we don't get any other information. Okay, so it's all about explain. It's glittery. It's by Jaru, which is a company we've seen often, and it is super sparkly. Oh. Here is our starfish. Oh my god. You know what it feels like? Oh yes. Oh mama. <laughs> okay, it feels like a gummy. So it's like squeezing a gummy. I really love the inner texture. And it reminds me of also another thing that Mrs. Bench sent over, which is a Swedish fish. That one. And that one also felt really nice. It had like this inner gummy, smushy inner feeling is the best way I can describe it. The outside is slightly sticky, but not overly sticky. Oh, that feels good. How much can I squeeze you? Oh, look at you. Look at you! Oh, wow, my lights look like a sad face. Why do my lights look like a sad face? <laughs> look at the reflection. Don't be sad. Oh, no. That's terrible. Now I'm fixated on that. Oh, my God, I love this. Also pretty discreet. It's not portable because I'm... Ugh. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. Because it partially has like a sandy feel, but also a soft feel. I'm gonna give this, holy shrimp, Ms. Bench. I think you're getting to know me more now. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna give this a solid nine. I really like this. I was about ready to be salty. I think you're like the algorithm, you get me now. Okay, next thing, I feel a bag. Let's go for a bag and what is you? What is that? So we have three absolutely pretty colors. 
like a textured pink, purple, and blue. Is that a chew fidget? I know some of you grains told me that one of the previous fidget toys that I unboxed was actually a chewable one. Now I've never chewed anything. I've mostly just stuffed things up my nose, but let me check. Oh look, I just looked exactly at it. Okay, it says chewable pencil toppers. I'm trying not to look at the other things. So it makes sense that this would be here. My pencil does have an eraser though, so I don't think, oh, it does. Okay, oh, there you go. <gasps> it makes sense. When I used to teach in elementary school, so many kids would actually chew on their pencils. This is genius. Okay, I'm gonna chew it. Okay, I don't know how I feel about chewing things. Oh, I have a gag reflex. I don't, I don't know how I feel. <coughs> Fun fact time with Jackie. I can't put things in my mouth because I do have a quick um, reflex of rejecting things. I'm just gonna call it like that. So it's really hard for me to put things. <laughs> Stop taking me out of context. I'm gonna try to chew again at uh, this time. <coughs> I wish I had my sister here, but it does have a nice texture. Let me just, it does have a nice texture. I'm so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> if you were a chewer, this does feel nice. It is ribbed. I just have a hard, like, I have a hard time putting things in my mouth, okay? You didn't know that about me, that's probably why I sniff things rather than put it in, in, you know that song, Don't You Put It In Your Mouth? Don't you put it in your mouth, uh-uh. Yeah, that creepy one, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't put things in my mouth, okay? <laughs> I don't know how to rank these. They're really pretty. They do chew nice. I think it's the length of them, probably. The length of them is hard for me to go through with it. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a seven, because I'm gonna think that they're, like, the basic model of chew toys. <laughs> All right, let's put you away. <laughs> and then let's see if we can find something small. This seems fairly small. You are, oh, the peas in a pod. Now this can either be a great one or a bust because some of them that are no good actually take a lot of strength to push them out. So for those of you who don't know, we've gotten peas in a pod a lot in the advent calendar fidget boxes. This one's different because it actually comes with a tag. What does it say? I can't tell. And the material's pretty soft, so let's see. Oh, where's the faces? Are they this side? There they go! <laughs> There's actually a character in Japan called Mameshiba, and it is a little dog edamame, I think. Okay, and this is not a pain in the butt. It is so soft. This is satisfying. This is very satisfying. Oh my God. Oh, that is so different than the ones we've tried before. I've had some good ones and some bad ones. Look at the dog. Hello, doggy. Hello, Jackie. Fancy seeing you here, doggy. Quite the same for you, Jackie. But yeah, this feels nice. It doesn't hurt this joint of the finger. There's only so much that you can do. And it is a keychain, or you can put it as a bag charm, and it is one finger fidgety. So it kind of can go up and down like this. I'm gonna say, uh, 7.4. 7.4. Cause it doesn't give that whole like goose bumpy thing, but it is, but it is portable <laughs> is what I was trying to say. Okay, let's see if there's other small things. Okay, this one is small round. You are. Oh, suction cup. You're just sending me my favorites, Mrs. Bench. Okay, now this again. can go either way. It can be a good suction or a not so good suction depending on the amount of strength it requires to actually do it. So we don't need the felt for this one. And first try, okay. Requires only moderate strength, not the extra strength and it does do its little suction clasp. Now let's see if it does the extra suction. Oh, uh-oh, hang on, let's try. Uh, it doesn't wanna do its suction. Okay, because the other ones, I don't know if I have mine around, but the other suction here should also hold with itself. So if I do this, they should stay locked together if I press hard enough, but these are not because you're supposed to be able to push this way, they hold on, and then you push the opposite way to get another sound. So this is probably lacking a little bit of flexibility. So it's only doing half of what it should. Oh, oh, we got it. Listen. There you go. What happened? How did it do it? How did you? How did you? Okay. Oh, it did it before. See, I think it needs a little bit of work. There we go. So it needed some, some softening. Is that a thing? I didn't know you needed to soften some fidget toys. What if we licked it? No. 
Maybe it needs some softening, but it's not doing it consistently, which for me, I like it when things are a little bit more predictable. See, it does it now, and then you turn, pop. Ah, I don't know how I feel. Because it's only doing it half the time, and half of what it's supposed to do, I'm gonna give it a five, but I'm gonna keep softening it by the time this video is done being edited, and let you grains know if it actually does change or not. So, I'll let you know if it changes. I'm fishing for some fish toys. Let's get in deep. Let's get in deep. Oh, 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 what's that? That feels soft and kind of a mesh. Hang on, I'm trying. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm doing it. What are you? What the shrimp? Oh, that feels soft, but also wet. I got goosebumps. All right, let's put you all back in there. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Okay, we have three different balls. Let's just open this mesh. Okay. Oh gosh. What is this called? Squish Attack Wonder Ball. Two styles. Confidery Confidery and Dutro Globe. Okay. Also by Jaru. Smushy and squeezy. And it's basically the same thing on the other side. Okay. In a previous Mrs. Bench fidget toy video, we unboxed something called, I think it was called the Molecule Ball. And that one, Pat is constantly playing with it. It's kind of like Orbeez, but then smaller balls on the inside. So you get two different kinds of texture. I'm pretty sure I reviewed that one with my sister. I mean, you see it on screen now. But these ones at first glance had the same feel. So there's a lot of glitter let's squeeze it what's that hang on i got you and okay there we go we can see the orbies on the inside and the glitter gives it this nice texture kind of reminds me of dr squish's squishy maker oh that feels good they are sticky by the way not fully but sticky enough oh look at that yes this is what we did last time just kind of roll it on the desk look at that why do you keep coming back feels good. It's like the other ball that we had. Okay, so it's supposed to be two different types. How do I tell which one's which? This one's pretty dense. Okay, this one's same thing. We have the Orbeez on the inside and super glittery. Very, very dense compared to that one. That one's super soft. This one's a little bit more dense. Oh, look at that. Do you hear that? Soft and not so much noise. And this one, See what I mean by it's wet? But it's satisfactory. Satisfying, satisfactory. For those of you who keep yelling at me, why does she use this word versus that word? English is not my first language. Stop yelling at me. I don't know the difference. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this one on the table. Still feels nice. Yeah, I like, I like the dense one. I like them dense. <laughs> and then we have this one that has also confetti glitter and it's super colorful. Now let's see, is it going to be wet? Or is it going to be silent? And the answer is, oh, wet. It feels good. But it's less dense than this one. Like this one is definitely way more dense. Like there's definitely way more Orbeez on the inside. This one less. And this one a lot less. So I don't know if they, why they said there's three different, two different kinds. It feels like three different ones. I like these. See, quiet. Wet. Wet. I like these a lot. Maybe they mean, ah, maybe they mean like two wet, one not wet kind of thing. I like these. I'm definitely going to be fidgeting with these. Eight on ten. And let's take something from the front. Oh, an avocado poppet. Wait, did I do an avocado poppet? Editor, help me find out if I did an avocado. It may have been a pineapple. I don't know. Now puppets for me usually get a seven because they're very basic as long as they do their job properly and the fact that this one is thick enough that you don't need to lift it, you can actually just do the puppets on the actual table. I love that. I don't like the puppets where you have to lift it off the table because it doesn't have enough space. What's the difference between the middle one? Does it make a difference? Okay, let's hear on the other side. Oh. Okay, how about this one? Not bad. Does this come off? No. Oh, oh. Is it supposed to? <gasps> it comes off. <laughs> so you can have your own tiny portable one. I like that. Oh, you just leveled up, baby. You just leveled up. So it doesn't make that sound unless... 
That's cute. Oh my god. Okay, this one leveled up. It's not a basic seven. This is definitely an eight. Very cute, very portable. I can see myself playing with this. Even just the fidgeting of putting it in and out is its own activity. I kind of like doing that. You, you've been leveled up, my friend. You've been leveled up. Cute. Very cute. And then I felt something familiar. So I don't know if it's an extra, this here, that I love. Oh, yes. Hang on. This is my favorite. I can do this forever. Because you cannot just do that. But you can also like push it into each other. You could pull it. Oh, hang on. There. So it can be quieter. But also, in the last video, some of you greens told me to spin it with my camera. And it should be satisfying. Hang on. Almost hit my face. Hang on. Hang on. How am I supposed to do it? You greens told me to spin it. So for those of you who want to say, Jake, you're doing it wrong. I know, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I kind of hear it. It's going like, woo, 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 woo. but obviously I'm doing it wrong. It's probably too long for me. <laughs> Look at it. It's close to your face. Are you uncomfortable? Are you a little uncomfortable? <laughs> I'm like the annoying sibling. Thank you for putting up with me. I appreciate you. This is a public service announcement. You are loved and appreciated. <laughs> And now, oh, this one sounds crunchy. You are a caterpillar. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it can be a charm too. We did get the 3D type printed caterpillar or slug in a previous video and it makes that really cool satisfying sound. But this one, I'm gonna keep the charms in here. Looks like it's straight out of a storybook. Absolutely adorable. But it seems to be a standard poppet. Let's see if we can pop on the desk. No, there you go. This is what I'm talking about. These ones you can't, you can't pop on the other side because there's no space. But I know that many of you grains said you enjoy these ones because it's quieter and you could just leave it on your desk while you're fidgeting so you don't have to actually make any noise whatsoever. And that makes sense. There's no noise. It doesn't even go, listen, a little bit. It could be quiet. See? Could also be noisy if you want. But let's see how it pops on the other side. Pretty quiet on this side and the pop. Yeah, very standard, but it is a caterpillar and it does stand on its own. Very cute, look at it. It's a caterpillar bus. You know, like cat bus, it's a cat bus, it's a caterpillar bus. <laughs> so here it is again, and let's do the pop. Standard, I'm gonna give it a seven. It's cute, so let's give it an extra point, 7.1. Next, oh, that's a box. Let's do a box. Oh, a fidget, it's kind of like a remote. It is a fidget remote, right? It's called a fidget pad. These are not new to us. We are fans. Oh, and you have the strap right there. So a fidget remote or fidget pad is kind of like a fidget cube, but it has other obnoxious parts like this. Definitely one of my favorite things to do. It's kind of like a clickety click of a pen. I really like this. We have the standard controller, kind of like a video game. Does it click down? No, it doesn't click down. On a fidget cube, it usually does. So it moves around. We have buttons. Some of them should click, some of them shouldn't. So there you go. Very nice. So you can be obnoxious. Are you annoyed yet? <laughs> and then you have ones that are absolutely quiet. Same thing as a fidget cube. Here we have a kind of just rolly, relaxing kind of texture. Also here you have a bit of a texture on the side. So if you like textures, you can definitely go up and down. I love this. And this is like a worry stone where you can just twirl it. Oh, this one's not twirling. This one's a little bit more resistant. Oh no. It's a little too resistant for me. And we have another click. I love buttons. But yeah, it's very standard for a fidget remote minus this one that's a little bit more resistant to twirl. It should fly. Like it should just float around, but as you can see, this is the point and it's not twirling. So I'm still gonna give this a pretty high grade because it is pretty relaxing. Eight on 10. Next, let's, let's do another box. Let's see what we got here. You are, oh, speaking of the devil, the fidget cube. <laughs> okay. This is, we like fidget cubes. We do. So I can show you the exact comparison. Hopefully this is similar to the one I had. And, oh, it's not. How about lift? Okay, 
So it's not pushing, sorry, it was lifting. You can lift it even on the fidget cube for those of you who have my fidget cube. You should be able to also lift it if you want to and you have a bit of a joystick. Some of these should click and some should not. So quiet, noisy, quiet, noisy, noisy. So you should have two ends that are quiet. Oh, here's the spinning, see? There you go. So it is spinning. Voila. Get a nice clicky. Mm-hmm. And then you have a little ball that you can move around and it does click. And these here spin. Oh, what happened to you? There's like an extra plastic here. This is gonna have to be taken off because otherwise it won't go. So we're gonna keep it here. And kind of like a worry stone, this is a nice smooth texture. We do like fidget cubes here. We're big fans because we can be obnoxious and it is portable. I have one in every bag that I carry around because it is small, portable, discreet. You can be as noisy or as quiet as you want it to be. By now, many of you grains know that it is no surprise that Boksu is my favorite Japanese snack subscription box that offers premium quality snacks. Every month you'll be getting anywhere between 20 and 25 different snacks centered around a different theme. For me, this month is onsen vacation. Let's try some snacks. Purple yam. Oh, that color. Look at it. Mmm. I thought it was gonna be soft, but this crunch, oh yes. Tastes like comfort food. Lotus chips. Ooh, like a salty sushi? Here's what it looks like. Is there gonna be a crunch? Mmm, salty sushi. Mwah. But as a first time subscriber, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan, where you'll get a tasting of a little bit of everything from a little bit of everywhere. What makes Boksu so special to me is that it's not just dagashi. I really do get to taste things even from vendors that are well over 100 years old that partner with Boksu. So you know you're supporting Japanese locals with this box. In addition to the snacks, you'll be getting a cultural guide that tells you where snacks come from, information on the flavors, allergens, and if it's vegetarian friendly or not. And the good news is, when you find your favorite, you can now order from their online boutique, which I have because I guiltily really like a lot of their cakes. So what are you waiting for? Check my link down below and use my code NERDYCRAFTER to get $15 off your first Boksu Japanese snack box. Thank you Boksu for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. And let me know which one of these 11 first from this mystery fidget toy bag is your favorite. Which one would you like to even try? I know I couldn't do it past the chewing one. That is definitely an issue I have. <laughs> And if you want to have more information about Mrs. Bench, I will leave the link down below. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews and unboxings, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something a little bit crafty or maybe even a little bit different, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grins in the next video.